Welcome to your air element yoga flow. Throughout this practice, as we open and expand through the front and back of the chest, shoulders, and neck, I will invite you to pay attention to the breath, how it feels and where it is located as you move through different transitions and postures. This will allow you not only to become more aware of the relationship between the breath, body, and mind, but also become more conscious of your own words, actions, and energy, and how it relates to everything around you. When you're ready to begin, meet me in Sukhasana, easy pose near the center of your mat. Take a moment to lengthen the spine, soften the shoulders, and we'll begin by bringing our attention to the neck. Releasing the right ear down toward the right shoulder, rolling the neck forward and over to the left, and then forward and over to the right. Just taking some easy half circles one way, and then the other. Bring your chin back to center. And let's bring the circles down to the shoulders, rolling the shoulders up toward the ears and down along the back. Let's reverse, circle the shoulders the other way. Release your shoulders down. Take an inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, side bend over to the left, left palm down, right fingertips reaching long. Inhale, breathe into the right side of the body as you expand and open through the right arm. Exhale, round, bringing the right palm down to meet the left. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Follow your own breath here. And the next time you open, lift up slightly so you can lengthen through the left leg. And we'll find our revolved head to knee pose. Left forearm on the inside of the left leg, right fingertips reaching overhead toward the left toes. Feeling the breath expanding the right side of the ribs. Come back up. Plant the right foot on the outside of the left thigh. Inhale, pull the right knee in toward your belly. And exhale, twist over to the right. Let's release and we'll go to the other side, coming back into your easy seated pose. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Inhale, open and expand. Exhale, round and close, bringing the left palm to meet the right. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And the next time you open, come up just enough to lengthen through the right leg and we'll find our revolved head to knee pose. Right forearm down, left fingertips reaching toward the right toes, finding length and expanding through the left ribs. On your next inhale, come back up to seated. Plant your left foot on the outside of your right thigh. 
inhale lift through the spine pull the left knee in toward your belly exhale twist over to the left Release and make your way over to hands and knees, tabletop pose. Take an inhale, drop your belly, expand through the chest and the collarbones, crown of the head lifts toward the sky. Exhale, round through the spine, finding your child's pose. Forehead resting down on the mat, Take a few breaths here. Noticing the breath come in, pressing the belly into the thighs. And release, softening away. On your next inhale, rise, come into your tabletop pose. Hips stay over your knees as you walk your hands forward and sink your chest down, coming into your puppy pose forehead can rest down toward the mat or for an extra opening through the front of the neck lift your gaze and rest your chin down press your way up send your hips back down to your heels for your child's pose this time sweep your hands back by your feet grabbing onto your heels lift your hips toward the sky as you come on to the crown of your head for your rabbit pose hold here breathing into the back of the shoulder blades the upper back and release hips down reach your hands out in front of you Tuck your toes under and send your hips up and back, finding your downward facing dog. Let's take a few breaths here to stretch everything out. On your next inhale, let's take a flow rolling forward into plank. Exhale, lowering down chaturanga, option to drop the knees. Inhale, open into your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now let's roll forward, drop your knees down, tabletop pose. And we're going to open into our side tabletop pose on the right. First, just taking a Big stretch here, reaching the left fingertips and toes away from one another. Expanding and finding length, breathing into the left side. Now engage through the core to lift the left leg parallel with the hip. Bend the knee, reach the left hand back to grab the left foot. And bow open, opening through the front of the shoulder, the left thigh, as you reach the hand and foot away from you. Release the left toes back down to your mat and walk yourself around to find your gate pose. So left hand comes to the calf or the knee, reaching through the right fingertips, now opening up through the right side of the body. Now plant your palms down, turn to face the top of your mat, squaring off your hips. Left toes are down, press into the palms to lift the hips, coming into your three-legged dog, right leg reaching high, inhale. Exhale, plant your foot at the top of your mat. 
and inhale, rise, finding your high crescent lunge. Now spin your back heel down, open into warrior two, just to transition. And then lengthen through the right leg, reaching the right fingertips high overhead, coming into your reverse triangle. Bend into the right knee as you come forward into your extended side angle pose. Right elbow can rest on the knee or fingertips reaching for the ground. Left fingertips lengthening toward the top of your mat. And now we'll add a half bind, internally rotating the left arm, bringing the back of the palm to rest on your low back or grabbing for the right thigh. Keeping your half bind as it is, lift the torso coming into your reverse warrior. Release the bind, bring your hands together overhead to transition as we spin the back heel up and find our reverse high lunge. Right hand reaches for the back of the left thigh, left fingertips reaching high overhead. Right palm comes up to meet the left. Hands come to prayer at heart center. Find some spring on the back leg and we're going to make our way forward coming into our warrior three. Left toes pointed down toward the mat. Now we're going to bend the left heel in toward the glute and see if you can hold on to it as you transition into your one-legged mountain pose. Just hold here for a moment, stretching through the left thigh, pulling the heel in toward your glutes, both hands holding on to that left foot as you open through the front of the shoulders. Next, we'll find our dancer pose. So bringing the left hand to the inside of the left foot, right arm reaches high, slightly tilting forward as we bow open, reaching the right arm forward, left hand and foot reaching away from you as you open through the left shoulder. You can bend the right knee to help with balance. And release, find your mountain pose, shake everything out, inhale, arms reach high, exhale, forward fold, halfway lift, release, step your right toes to the back of your mat and inhale, reach the right toes high, let's bend the knee and open the hip, maybe staying here. Maybe flipping your dog, coming all the way into your wild thing. 
Open and breathe. Now come back into your three-legged dog. Left toes down for your downward facing dog. And we'll take a flow. Inhale, rolling forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Now we'll go to the other side, dropping the knees down and opening into your side tabletop pose on the left. Starting with that big stretch, right fingertips and toes reaching away from one another. Noticing where your breath is here. And then engage through the core to lift the right leg parallel with the hip, bend the right knee, grabbing the right foot with your right hand and bow open, reaching the hand and foot away from you, opening through the front of the right shoulder and thigh. Let's release, bring the right toes down and plant the foot on the mat, and then walk your torso around to find your gate pose. Right fingertips on the right leg, Breathing into the stretch through the left ribs. Let's release, bring your palms toward the top of your mat as you turn and square your hips off. Right toes are down. Inhale, press into the palms as you lift your hips, left toes reaching high for three-legged dog. Exhale, plant your foot at the top of your mat. Inhale, find your high crescent lunge. Take a few breaths here. Now let's spin the back heel down, open into your warrior two just to transition. And then inhale, lengthen through the left leg, reaching the left fingertips high for your reverse triangle. Bend into the left knee as you come forward into your extended side angle, first with those right fingertips reaching long. And now we'll add our half bind, internally rotating the right arm, bringing the back of the hand to rest on your low back, or maybe grabbing the left thigh. Keep your bind as you lift your torso coming into your reverse warrior. And release your bind, right palm comes up to meet the left as we transition, spinning the back heel up, finding our reverse high lunge. Left palm reaching for the back of the right thigh, right fingertips reaching high overhead.
Left palm comes up to meet the right. Square your torso off toward the front of your mat. Hands come to prayer at heart center. And we'll spring forward finding our warrior three. Right toes pointed down toward the mat. Now we're going to bend the right leg, bringing the heel in toward the glute as we rise, coming into our mountain pose. Take a moment here. Just find your quad stretch first. Both hands holding on to the right foot so you can open up through the front of the shoulders. And now we'll find our dancer pose. Bringing the right hand to the inside of the right foot, left hand reaches high, and then reaching the left fingertips forward as you bow open through the right. Good, release, come back into your mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, release. Step your left toes to the back of your mat. Inhale, come into your three-legged dog. Right knee bends, opening through the hips, maybe staying here or maybe flipping your dog and opening into your wild thing. Breathing in, finding space. And come back over into your three-legged dog. Toes release down for your downward facing dog. And we'll take a flow, inhaling for plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now drop both knees down to the mat and come up to a kneeling position. We'll take some half camel flows here. So with your toes tucked under, inhale, left hand reaches for the left heel, pressing your hips forward, right fingertips reach behind you. Exhale, sweep around and go to the other side. Inhale, right palm to right heel. Exhale, release. Let's do one more on each side. Come to center. Clasp your hands together behind your low back. Inhale, take a chest expansion. And you can stay here or come into your full camel, reaching both hands down to grab the heels, hips pressing toward the top of your mat, untucking the toes to find more space here. And release, come out of your camel pose. Sit your hips down onto your heels, take an inhale, and exhale, release forward into your child's pose for a counter stretch. Rounding through the spine, releasing the forehead down toward the mat. Let's come up, make your way back into your downward facing dog. And we'll take one final flow. Inhale, rolling forward into plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Now walk your way to the top of your mat. Bend your knees to take a seat. And then come all the way down to your back. You can keep your knees bent, feet planted down arms alongside the body and for our final pose here before we take shavasana we're going to find our fish pose 
pressing into the forearms. Lift through the chest, coming onto the crown of your head. You can extend both legs out long, feet flexed, toes pointing toward the sky. Breathing into this opening through the chest, the shoulders, and the neck. Let's release, gently tucking your chin in toward your chest, releasing the upper back down toward your mat again. And bring one knee in and then the other. Just gently rock from side to side. Now release both legs out long. Coming into your Shavasana. Palms facing up toward the sky. Feet splaying open. Bringing your attention to the breath. Following the breath as the inhale comes in through the nostrils. Lifting the chest and belly. And then following the exhale as the belly and chest soften and the air releases through the nose. Inhale, watching the air come in. And exhale, observing as it releases. Start to deepen the breath, bringing more energy back into the body, rolling out the ankles and the wrists, maybe taking a full body stretch if that feels good. And when you're ready, making your way up to a comfortable seated position. Crown of the head reaches toward the sky. Let's take one final breath here as you inhale, arms reach high overhead. Exhale, hands come to prayer at heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for this air element yoga flow. From my heart to yours, namaste. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment below. 
And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel to join me for more yoga classes like this.